Michael. You don't know if you're going to. Are you going arrogant? To... You know? You're... I didn't. I'm not saying I'm arrogant. Jesus so told us me? that you can have eternal life if you believe in Him. Believe Jesus in what? said it. Believe in what? If you believe in me, you will have Show eternal me. life. When he said, he believe said in me. I, I am God. Give eternal no, no. life. By he said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Yeah, they say whatever you want. I am the one who's in charge of heaven and earth. I can give you eternal What's life. What's your channel then? Sorry? What's the channel you uploading the video? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Why are you asking me with the channel? No, I need to watch it. DCCI. The channel's name is DCCI. Defend Christ, critique his love. Now, Muhammad in Surah 46, Ayah 8 to 9, he didn't know what was going to happen to him. And you're following a man who does not know where his eternity is going to lie. People followed Moses because he was an Sorry? Arrogant. People followed Moses and he never knew. He's Why telling you what's wrong with your Moses he is not Moses. the one that takes you to, light, to eternal life. No, I did Muhammad. They're both prophets, <laughs> innit? Was Jesus a prophet so according saying, to Muhammad? Yeah. Okay. The same Jesus said he's going to take you to heaven. You're saying you can't follow Muhammad. No, according to Allah's word, which is the Injil. According to you, you can't follow Muhammad because you never knew. People used to follow Moses and Noah. So they never knew either. So why can't follow him? So who are you following now? Muhammad, Muhammad, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And the Jews used to follow Moses. Did Muhammad know he was going to go to heaven, yes or no? Well, yeah, because he's a prophet. Okay. Surah 46, ayah 8 to 9, he said he didn't know. But he was promised what was going to happen to him? He was promised that God can do whatever he wants. Okay, so you just said you're changing your mind in about 15 seconds. You just said Muhammad knew he was going to go to heaven, and then the 15 seconds later, oh, no, no, no. Allah, Allah will, Allah, Allah knows. Did, Mo, did Jesus know everything? Yes. So why did he know about a fig tree and stuff? Because he limited himself. So he never knew. No, 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 no. He limited himself. So he After knew. resurrection, he knows everything. He limited himself for a point, time. At one point, God never knew everything. No, Jesus Christ, the Son Jesus of God. Christ, the only one God. Okay, you're changing topics. Change topics. He's not the You're changing topics. You're changing topics. He's not the We're son saying of God. Jesus Christ gives you eternal life. You're saying he knows everything, right? It, we, he knows everything. Yes, we know that. We, yeah. He's the Alpha and the you're Omega, the beginning and the end. You said he limited himself. Yeah, he limited himself. But so that's not a question here. The question here is about your eternity. Yeah. Where are you going if you die today? Possibly heaven, possibly hell. Possibly, yeah? Yeah. And I'm saying to you, you? I'm saying to you that you can be assured of your eternal life if you could if you know Jesus Christ. He's right. Don't gamble. Don't gamble on your soul, man. Well, I could say you're gambling because you're choosing Christianity instead of something else. I'm not gambling. I know. I'm certain, man. I'm not gambling. There's no gambling here. I am certain. You said you are gambling. You said you don't know. You're doing worse than gambling. He didn't about Jesus, did he? Moses, the Jews never used to know about Jesus. Okay, I'm not talking about Moses though. If you what know as a Christian, Jews that never knew about Jesus, are they going to go to heaven or not? No, they're not going to. The Bible's not the word of People God. before Jesus, they're not going to go to heaven. They didn't know him. In, in, wait, 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 listen, listen, listen. In Genesis 15, Jesus appeared to Abraham. The word of the Lord appeared to Abraham. Exodus chapter 33, Jesus appeared to Moses. Before, in, no, he didn't always mention, I'm just giving it to you. Genesis 15, verses 6, verse 1 to whatever. It says, the, no, no, it says, the word of the Lord appeared to Abraham. Who's the word of the Lord? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the word of God. The Jews used to think Jesus was there. Who's Moses? Is Moses a Jew? Yeah. Okay, Moses, in Exodus 33, God appeared to him, Jesus Christ himself. Abraham, 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 who was a Jew? Jesus appeared to him. It doesn't matter, Jesus is God. Even if you deny it, yes, I don't know that there's no mistakes in So, no, no, but you're saying, you're saying the Jews didn't know where they're going to go. You're saying to go to heaven. You know that they're all crucified and stuff, right? You have to believe in Jesus Christ. Now, 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 now. Before the New Testament, they had to believe in Christ Jesus. No, no, no. So all the people before the New Testament story has come from Christians. I know that Jesus. I guarantee that. If they knew Jesus Christ and they accepted him, yes. What I believe about that is that. They didn't know. I just gave you references, man. You just said that God came down. Yeah, God came down to them. And God said, Abraham, you're my friend. I will bless you and your seed. 
Abraham knew God, Moses knew God, David knew God, Isaiah knew God, Jeremiah knew God. That's how they uh, gave the, the words of God. I don't know. I don't know how they, 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 I just gave it to you. Jesus appeared to Abraham. What part of that don't you understand? What part of that don't you understand? You have to believe in Jesus. Where there is the New Testament. He's separate from God. They used to believe in God. You believe in Jesus. They're separate. Okay, you're talking about Trinity. Yeah? yeah, yeah, that's the story. That's the story. What, what are you trying to say? Go on. You also have to believe in Jesus. You have to believe in yeah, Jesus. Believe in him is he did. Believe in God. God. So who appeared to Abraham? The word of the Lord appeared to Abraham. No, the word of the Lord appeared to Abraham. Who is the word of the Lord? When it comes to your belief, I'm not talking about me. I'm not talking about you. I'm, I'm talking according to the Bible. Who is the word of the Lord? I believe in Old Testament. You never mentioned the Jesus. When I tell you something, is that your answer? Yeah. Are you sure about that? According to the Old Testament, Jesus is the word of the Lord. No, but when you said that, you, who said that? But he appeared to him when in the flesh. He saw him. He spoke to him. You're not going to question it. You're just going to yeah. believe in it. Isn't That's the pre-incarnation. That's the pre-incarnation of Christ Jesus. He incarnated in the New Testament. That's why the New Testament says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And everything was created by the Word, which is by Jesus Christ. That's why in Genesis 1, when you see the account, God said, God said, God said, God spoke things. God created the world through Jesus Christ. Yes. So you, when you die today, what's your name? Muhammad. Okay, I will never forget that. Muhammad, when you die today, you're gonna go to hell. And we don't want you to end up in hell. You're sure to end up. I know when you leave Islam, if you leave Islam, I know what's gonna happen. Surah 489, Sahih al Bukhari 69, 22, 489. About apostasy in Islam. If you leave Islam, you're supposed to be killed. Simple. Surah 4, verse 89. And yeah, Muhammad, sorry? You don't get killed in England. I'm not talking about Sharia England. Law, under Sharia law, under you Sharia won't. Sharia That's Islam. We're not under Sharia law here. Stop it. But that doesn't matter. You it doesn't be, matter. Yeah, under Sharia law, you wouldn't be. Yeah. And 40% of Muslims in Britain want Sharia law to be implemented. So there's a whoa, risk whoa, that it whoa. could be in the end. Whoa, he's giving you facts, okay. man. I'll answer that in the session. Okay, that's fine. But your prophet said it, though. Your prophet said it. Your prophet oh, must be superior than England. Huh? Your prophet must be superior to you than England. Obviously. Okay, your prophet said anyone who changes his Islamic religion, kill him. Yeah. Yeah, you believe that? So if you leave today... If you're in an Islamic country... Not, okay, we, I, I, I know somebody who was about to be killed in England. If you're killed in England all the time. Why okay, the in the world? but you just said you won't be killed in England. No one will do it. They do do... No chance of it. The chance of you getting stabbed right now by me is like... Not gonna happen, but it could. Okay, I'm talking about Islam though. What, Muhammad. That's what you're saying? Muhammad, please Look, use your logic. Said, Surah 4 verse 89. Open. Okay. You just said, when this eye comes from... No, I could get killed in England if I leave this there. Current one. Yeah. yeah. That's very, very low chance of it happening. But can it happen? It could happen. A tree could fall down and Is there any chance of you guys getting killed if you leave Christianity? I'm not there's no chance of Okay, whatever. whatever. Atheist? Uh, I, uh, if I'm, you leave whatever you believe whatever, in, yeah, sure. would you be killed? Uh, no. <laughs> Verse 89. Verse 89. 89. 89. And then we'll read Sahih al-Bukhari as well, yeah? Your prophet said it. I know, I know. I'm not denying. But, but can I just ask? Okay, like, if, if you don't deny England, it, though, but even in Islamic countries, yeah. why why is that not bad? Is that not a horrible thing to do? And the Sharia law, freedom of religion, to just you know kill them. It's, it's like, not freedom. That's what. Sorry. Yeah. If you're gonna go to hell if you disbelieve anyway. Why oh, is but that doesn't, work? doesn't matter about hell. In, it in Iran, in Iran and Saudi Arabia. Iran's not a Muslim country. Iran is a Muslim it's country. Not, it's a Shia it country. Shia is a branch they, of Islam. They're not Muslim, really. No. You're a Sunni. You believe that? The Shiites disagree. Whoa, 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 whoa! He's radical. He's radical. Iranian. She's not a Muslim. Shia Muslims, Shia Muslims would say that you as a Sunni, but Shia, Shia Muslims, they believe in the five pillars. They don't believe in the five pillars. They do. They have different pillars. No, no, they don't believe in the five pillars. No, they don't. They're pillars. They're pillars. They're pillars. They're pillars. They're pillars. No, no, the major difference is who should have inherited after Muhammad. I'm just saying. No, it's not. Who's their God? No, that's the major. You're just making this up. Shias don't believe that. They believe that's not. That's not. That's not even the topic. But I'm just saying, the Shiites would say that you. I'm assuming you're Sunni, right? They would. 
it your fault? You're, yeah, you're, you're, you're a religion. Iran and I, by extension, Syria. You're, you're, you're wrong. The Saudis are wrong. They're, or the Sunnis are wrong. Yeah. And every other Arab country other than Iran. So why are the Iranian? Why are the Shiites wrong and the Sunnis are right? Huh? Why are the uh, Why are the Shiites wrong and why are the Sunnis right? That's a complicated thing. Yeah, it's complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated. I think they're wrong. Yeah, no, I, I, that's fine. Of course you think they're wrong, but why? Why, why are they wrong? Why are they wrong? Why the why is more important. It's a different type of Muslim. Why do you think the Catholics are wrong? It's like, they're wrong. Because they're evil. I think they're evil. They're evil. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, okay. well, is that your answer? Yeah. How do you? That's not the reason. That, there's no reason. Well, no, 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 but when I say yeah, they, I mean okay. the church. I don't okay. mean all Catholics are alive. Okay. And more than one God. That's irrelevant. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay, 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 okay. Back, back to this topic. Sorry, no, no problem, man. Muhammad, if you leave Islam today, you'll be killed. That's the verse. Surah An Nisa, 489, yeah. Shall I read it for you? Do you read Arabic? Oh, good. Okay. Do you understand Arabic? Okay. Because 80% of Muslims don't, so you're the 20. Yeah? Is that true? Yeah. 78 to be precise. Right, yeah. In the Western world or Muslims on the globe? In the whole world, man. Oh, really? Yeah. A lot of them haven't even read the most Muslims, most Muslims are from the East. Yes. Oh, yeah. India, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Yeah, Indonesia is the highest. Indonesia, Malaysia, yeah. So you're talking about apostasy? Yeah, apostasy, yeah. Yeah, so the Quran testifies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. It's basically saying that if the birth after that basically says, I think. They don't fight and not kill. Anyway, that's irrelevant. I think they're apostles to be killed. That's irrelevant, yeah? Apostles? No, I'm saying the verse after that. I think that goes against what you're saying. But anyway, I believe that if you're in a Sharia law country and you leave Islam openly and you don't repent, then I think you get killed. That's then. evil. Do you, do you, are you okay with that? No, no. Are you okay and, with that? And I respect that. Yeah, no, I respect, I respect no, his right no, no, to have no, 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 no. That's a horrible thing. But that, he's, no, he's no, saying, he's, no, no, you're saying, no, 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 do you respect me going to hell? I give you the freedom of religion. If you want to go to hell, if I don't follow your religion, I go to hell. Right? Of course, I'm not going to force you to believe religion, me. Then they're not going to get killed. What's worse, they get killed. But you get killed and then go to hell anyway. Don't you? Exactly, you get killed and go to hell anyway. Yeah, I know. I don't think there's Thank you for saying that. that. I don't think there's anything wrong with going to hell. I'm just saying. There's nothing wrong in going to hell. No, it's not evil for God to put someone in hell, is it? If they right, yeah. choose to reject him, yes. Yeah, yeah. A human being not, okay, but you're forcing people not to go to hell. That's a force. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Because you're killing them. And they could just leave the Islamic country. Yeah, yeah but you're killing them. There's no, there's no freedom in religion. And they can't in Eritrea. In Eritrea, if you want to leave, you can't leave. In Eritrea, they keep you Yeah, in Eritrea, they can't. In Eritrea, they keep you in. It's okay. North East Africa. Yes, yeah, I think that's right. You actually think it's okay to do it? It's very wrong. Let's say we're in Islam, let's say we're in Islam, and I'm a Muslim, and I decide to leave, you will kill me. I wouldn't kill you. No, if you are the leader of Sharia, you will kill him. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I like about you? At least you're honest. And they're not like these people saying, oh, Islam is not like this, Islam is like that. You think that's fair? So you're okay with that? That's what God said, then obviously. Yeah. Sorry, no, he's honest. He's I'm not going to say that looking, looking around and say, oh, I think that's right, I think that's wrong. Look at what God what said. Here for me, okay, good. you think that was God saying it? I disagree. He's inspired to the prophet by God. Okay. Yeah. Why, why was such a loving God? I respect God this guy. Who leads the most of the system. human I world, who haven't been given the message to their own devices and judging them. Huh? But yet, you know how, they, how God said, you know, what Muslims say, how most of the human population that haven't been given the message. Everyone's been given a message nowadays. Yeah, I know, but there were people in Amazon that have never been given the message. You're either, you're either no, scared. Say, no there one are some nowadays. people that have not been given the message or have been given a message very different to the, to the Quran. Yeah? Well, everyone's heard about Islam. Bro. Uh, no, Amazonian tribes in South America. The people in Fiji have never they, they, they cut them in cannabis. Okay, don't say that you have. There are some people who, have, who don't so know about Islam. If you've never ever heard about Islam, yes, then okay. you might end up being forgiven. I'm not entirely okay. sure. Okay, okay, so you don't know. Okay, that's fine. They're left to, to their own devices. They shouldn't be killed. You leave them as they are. But I mean, for a Muslim who was to leave your religion, you would choose to kill them. What sort of a God does that? What sort of a God says, no, hey, these guys hell. don't. What? You're all going to put him in hell. Like he's not a Christian. We don't, we're not Christian. Not, we're, we're, I'm the Christian, so you can talk to me about it. That's just so bizarre. I, but, but, I sympathize more so with him, weird. maybe. But. Sympathize. Uh, you know, okay, yeah, let, me see, no, let me see. Let me see how honest he is. He's very honest, but let's see how honest he is. Do you believe me, Christian, and Jews are the worst of creatures? 
Anyone who's not a Muslim is worse than a preacher. Wow, this guy's honest! This guy's honest! So you believe I'm worse than a pig? Let me look at this guy. I mean, I've never seen you on you, you believe I'm worse than a pig? If you're not following the God, then you're so more am, wrong than a pig. I want you to... I want, I want, no, I am worse than a pig. Pig is not going against what God said. You are. So you're wow. worse. So I'm worse than a pig. In some respects, yes. No, say it. Say it, Muhammad. Say, Muhammad, I am worse than a pig. Islam is the proper religion. Don't say if. You believe that. I'm saying you don't. No, but for you, we asking you. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, if okay, go on. Correct religion. Yeah. Yeah. No, but if you follow Islam. Like you're you better than someone who doesn't follow it. So there. yeah, so I am I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, worse yeah, than a pig. Oh, oh, about he's pigs, worse. She pigs is. He is. Oh, so, but, but, so there's one thing to say. That and, and, I know our cameraman is as well. Is no, you're not. It's you're loved, that saved by Muslim, Christ. Sure. But it's another thing to say that they're actually less than animals. Like they're subhuman. Yeah. Is it true that the Quran says God doesn't love the non-believers? Yeah. Bible, yeah, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In the Bible, does God love the non-believers? I don't care about the Bible. I'm That's the same thing. Like, no, you against me? Like, yeah, God, God, yeah, he does, he does. He does. In the Bible, why does he, does he, love, God? he loves me. Yeah, he does. And he throw me in hell, even though he loves me. No, that's your choice. Why, why would... Why, why would you reject a loving God? Huh? Why would you reject a loving I God? I am rejecting a God. No, but hypothetically speaking, yeah. my God loves you, you rejected him. He's not going to force you in. But he's going to throw me in hell. Yeah, because that's your choice. You chose that. He loves into hell. Yeah, because he doesn't force. Relationship, love relationship. You it's, not, hell? it's not... No, that's God. God do. That's his job. That's not mine. You wouldn't harm someone that you love, would you? Me? Yeah. If they're going against my commands and I'm telling them stop like my children if I, if I have children if I'm saying stop don't do this otherwise no no not hell like I'll punish them I'll punish them here yeah because you rejected it you rejected it do you accept taking you are sending yourself to hell do you accept taking women as sex slaves Oh, that's another one. That's, that's, that's yeah, that's a different. No, that's a, you're, 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 you're testing is honesty. Your testing is honesty. Testing is honesty. <laughs> more and more. Yeah, that's Surah 424. You, 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 By the way, a lot of this have been telling against me. We both believe the same thing. He believes God. Right now, I'm talking about it. Right now, they're talking about sex slaves. I don't believe in sex slaves. I don't believe in sex slaves. What about um, Solomon? What about Solomon? So it says in the Bible you can have sex God, God, slaves? No, it doesn't. What did God say to him? Hmm? What was God? What did God say to Solomon? Did God decree that? Did God decree and say God said, "Stop! Don't do this." In First Kings chapter nine, all the way to sixteen. Those of the prophets before Jesus, they all sinned. They all sinned. That's all a sin. All of them. Every single human being sinned except Jesus. They're doing wrong. They're prophets of God. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, they, no, they are prophets of God. God uses anybody. So if they did it, why can't Muhammad do it? Why does Muhammad have to be way better than Moses? That makes no sense. Muhammad was not though. You compare to <coughs> Jesus. Because Jesus you was think, sinless. Oh, you think Jesus is God. Mm. I think Muhammad is a prophet. So you should compare him to other prophets, not to God. No, because you have Jesus <coughs> as a prophet and we have Jesus as God. Yeah. So we're trying to go with common ground. Your Muhammad. According to me, Jesus sinned a tiny, like a little bit. Where? He didn't probably sin. He Where? just did like minor sins. Where? Because you're, you're going against your own prophet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. He didn't like sin. You're going against your own prophet and your own Quran. Because he never sinned. He barely did. He didn't sin. He made a few little mistakes. Every son of Adam makes mistakes. Give me the mistake he made. I don't, I don't know any mistakes. Like a lot of people make. You just said he made a mistake. I'm not sure. Some scholars did Muhammad sin. I think some scholars believe no prophet sinned. Some scholars believe that some prophets did like minor sins. I'm not sure. Okay. What do you believe? I think they probably did like small mistakes. Yeah. Muhammad sinned. Yeah. He didn't sin. He made small mistakes. There are three then verses. There are three verses in the Quran that Allah asked Muhammad, actually commanded Muhammad to ask forgiveness yes. for his sin, for his sin, for his sin. Not mistakes only, for his sin. Forgive there is no God. verse in the Quran where Muhammad, where Allah says to Jesus, ask forgiveness for your sin. In fact, the hadith in says fact, that every son of Adam makes mistakes. Is Jesus the son of Adam? Continue, continue, continue that hadith. That hadith says every human being, Satan touched the placenta, except Jesus Christ. What's that got to do with anything? Satan could not touch Jesus. 
He couldn't. He, he touched every human being except Jesus. Didn't didn't uh, Muhammad he, himself say he received uh, revelations? <coughs> Devil. Yeah, he was demon possessed. That's an Ibn Isham 106. Huh? Ibn Isham uh, page 72. I can show you right now. But Muhammad was possessed. He actually he, mm -hmm. he received some revelations that he later took. took, took he back thought he was said, demon possessed. At first. <coughs> yeah. So how do you know he's not de demon possessed now? You're believing a prophet. But there was no prophet that was demon possessed. No true prophet of God is he demon possessed. Demon possessed he was. He thought he was. He was shocked after dinner. He was about to kill himself. He didn't know what was going on. He was confused. Mm. Then he got clarification. Yeah, but he was also under the magic spell. But wasn't there three? Uh, <laughs> you think he was? That's what the hadith says. Don't say he was. He said he thought he was. No, no, no. He wasn't was under the magic spell. He thought he had sex because he was under the magic spell. Well, wasn't he there, thought he had sex. I will show you. Three idol uh, gods that he also accepted to, you, you know. No. You, you, uh, yeah, Alat Manat and Uza, Surah no, 53, said, 19. Let me show, let me show you no, no, before we go there, wait. Have you seen the Lat Manat and Uza? Why didn't he destroy them? So yeah. only names you have named yourself, Allah has not put any command on them. Literally, contradicts what you're saying. He did not destroy them. Even the Kaaba, that's not Islamic. Anyway, it's that's from another Abraham. thing. No, it's not. Yes, I don't know if that's Sahih Hadith or not. This is Sahih Bukhari, Volume 7, 660. I can't take hadith, I don't know what it is right or not. You can take it, Sahih al Bukhari. Christians and um, Shia and stuff lying about. It's okay, write, write the reference I, don't know if it's true. I, I have five, six references here yeah. of Sahih al Bukhari. Yeah. Here. Magic was worked on Anas Apostle. This is Aisha talking, the favorite wife. So that he used to think that he had sexual relations with his wives while he actually had not. He thought he had sexual sex, but he did not because magic was worked. So you believe in a prophet that, you know, he's under the demon possessed, demon can overpower him. I don't believe in a prophet like that. That doesn't mean his revelation was from magic. <clears throat> How do you know? <laughs> if if it can be demon possessed. If God's got a prophet, he's sending revelations through them. He's not going to allow false revelation to come, is he? But you don't know that. No, no, if, he, if he's already demon possessed, yeah, anything else you can't trust. Moses was not, Abraham was not, David was not, Isaiah was not, Jeremiah, even though they were sinners, demon was not overpowering them, or magic was not. But Muhammad was. Sahih al Bukhari, Volume 7. 660, well, read it. Up. Please look it up. I like your honesty. Yeah, no, look I, it up. I respect your honesty. Can I ask you a question? It's good. Yeah. If there was a conflict here and you, there were some non-believers that you ended up fighting, and then you know they, they have a couple of daughters or wives, and then you kill the men and the husband and the brothers and everything, and the women that are left, you would take them as your wife. Why would I be fighting on believers in England? That's, I'm just saying that if there was a conflict. But you want Sharia law, right? I just want to understand that in your book it says you can take the woman. As, I, just, oh, no, oh, I just want to ask you. No, but he's asking a hypothetical. You have the right to take the woman as your wife. Do you think that woman is going to have a big smile on her face? Says, yeah, yeah, she will. Says, yeah, she will. Yeah, she will. The Quran says. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the logic. I just want to. Yes or no? Do you think she will be happy with a big smile after you kill her I need husband to or? Reply by showing the verse. Read it. Are you going to show us a smile in the verse? Because that's the question. That's, that I've, seen, I've seen people like Ali Dawa say that yes, the woman, one of the uh, women raped by a man when, when Muslims. Yeah, yeah. Sorry? If someone's a slave, yeah. then they get married, they're not necessarily going to hate the person. That's what you're making an assumption. Bro, no, 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 I'm, not, you I'm, not, immediately I'm not making an assumption that they're going to hate it, but I'm also not going to make the assumption that they love it and be Bro, happy. And be listen to what he's saying. You killed her husband. You killed her husband. You killed their brother. Right. And you think she wants yeah. to marry you? you're taking the... Taking well, if she came a Muslim, then Bro, she's going to disagree. Do you think she's going to have a smile? Does she have any options? To marry someone or be with someone who you just conquer the land. Family. Just, just be logical. Ignore the text. Mohammed, just be honest. The just the way you are honest. Just be consistent. Husband, and they're gonna have a big smile on the face and get into bed with you. Is that? Is that? Do you think that's normal? No, of course not. No, possible. I don't know. Of course not. Oh, you don't know. Oh, come on. Huh? You don't no, know. He's been honest. He's been honest yeah. in terms of yeah. apostasy being killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been honest about so many things, man, which is good. Let's not ask you. Let's ask a woman. I mean, knowing how but most dangerous. women are not <laughs> prostitutes. Dangerous. They're not, they're not Don't live under this guy's law. She is completely traumatized exactly. because of what ISIS did. To ISIS her. have a long history yeah. of yeah. taking hostages, they have taken her, sex slaves, they killed her, the Absolutely. men, and, and they, they raped the women. And funny enough, they are not extreme non-believers. Mr. Mansour. Yeah. How are you? 
I just don't follow Islam. Are you ready to defend your claims about the They're claims? They're claiming Muslim. Muslim. <laughs> okay, let's ignore. Okay, at least what the text says, you could take them really, as your wives or slaves. Is there any Christian in the park like ready to defend the biggest them. claims? I'm going to show you the evidence. I don't care if you can abuse them. I thought you didn't want to debate us. Will they have a big smile on their face? I'm saying, oh yeah, you killed you killed my husband. Let's have sex now. One minute, one minute. I, you know, you know, that's, what makes me worried is that you have to resort to a text. Yes, to if, if the text says it's okay, then it's fine. Exactly. Oh, okay. Okay, he's. Uh... Oh, someone called him to say, hey, get the. Off that <laughs> you, you, you're making us look bad. You have to do, you have to do your takia. Message. You know, you know, you're not good at Takiya, bro. You're not good at Takiya. No. no, even no, no, Kathir no, no. said it. Even Kathir said it. Takiya, it doesn't mean what you think it means. Okay, uh -huh. what, does it mean? what does it mean? It means that you're about to die. Yeah. You're allowed to die against Islam to save your life. Some scholars say it's not just if you're about to die, it's if you feel threatened. Tell me about scholars. Anyone could claim to be a Muslim or a scholar. Right. So, so, so why the scholars? So why the scholars that agree with you, correct? Some follow some scholars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Believe in more than one God. Yeah. So, even so, Abbas disagrees oh, okay. with you, even Kathir disagrees right, with what, you. What is your question? Knowing that my most, uh, most of my ideas that is not Let right. me conclude. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Don't worry, she's coming to destroy you. <laughs> Don't forget, we love Muslims. Yes. So, we finished the debates. Very honest Muslim in terms of Islam how he believes apostates, uh, apostates should be killed. He believes uh, Muhammad is a true prophet. Anyone who doesn't believe in him should die. He believes in Sharia law. He was honest, but very dangerous. He's not accepting the gospel, of course. But I've shown him now Muhammad was under a magic spell that he thought he had sex with somebody, but he did not. Now I've given him Sahih al-Bukhari. He's going to go and check it out. But how can you follow a prophet who was under a magic spell? How do you know that he received revelation from God? How do you know? Because if a prophet is already being defeated by demons like that, a true prophet can never be defeated. And if Muhammad was defeated, his revelation from Allah might be from the devil. You know, he, he wanted to commit suicide and everything. In Surah 46, Ayah 8 to 9, Muhammad didn't know where he was going to go when he, uh, when, uh, about his faith, eternity. He didn't know. But Christ Jesus says, if you believe in me, you will have eternal life. Follow me. I am the way, the truth and the life. Old Testament, New Testament, Jesus was talked about how he's going to bring life. He's the wonderful counselor, the Prince of Peace and the everlasting father, the, 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 the life giver. And in John 10, he said, I give eternal life. Read it from verse 27 up to 30. Jesus gives eternal life. Run away from Islam, come to know Christ. And the only reason we're doing this every single week, week after week, because we have love for you, we love you Muslims. Come to know Christ. God bless you.